Hey guys, what's up? It's Sam Bob Tech, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to run an operating system in an operating system. So first, you need to go and download VirtualBox, and you need to have either a CD or a DVD of the um, OS you wanna download on, or an ISO file of it. So once you've downloaded those things, you're gonna go to New on VirtualBox when you open it. Click Next, and then you're gonna go to Linux, Ubuntu, that's what I'm doing. You can do any operating system you want. So I'm just going to call it Linux. Let's go to next. Now you're going to create a new hard disk. I'm going to have a fixed side storage. Then just click finish. And then it should create the storage. I'll come back uh, when it's done. So it's done now, so uh, once it's done it should show this page, so just click finish when you're done. And now you'll have this thing, which is your drive for the for the operating system. So um, you can even, if you want, you can change some of those settings you did, like the storage size and like that, by just going to the settings button, just open it up. Computers, these are the settings, you can just change them if you want. But I'm just going to click OK. And I'll just click Start. Click OK. Next. Now you're going to click that little like icon on the side here. And get your ISO file. Click Open. Next. Okay. Okay, so to load up this like to load the installation page is going to take a while, so I'm just going to pause and I'll come back. So once it all loads up, you should get this page. So you can install or try it. Try will just run off a CD, but I don't think you can save anything. So you want to go to Ubuntu, install. Wait till it loads up. Now if you have all the stuff in, so you need to plug into the power source have at least a 2.6 gigabyte available drive space and you need to be connected to the internet now um, if you want you can install third party software which I'm gonna do and just move forward Now, if you're um, downloading a different operating system, then just follow the steps for that operating system. I'm showing you the Ubuntu one right now. So, if you're interested in Ubuntu, I'll have the link in the description. Uh, now you can, uh, you're just going to click Erase and use the entire disk. So this is the disk you're going to use. And click Install Now. Now um, you're gonna format your your time zone. So my time zone is is not Rainy River. It is around Eastern Time. I'll just put his that on.
keyboard layup. Everyone probably have USA. Your name, your computer's name. Password. Just click forward. Now this is the installation page. So it's going to take a while to download, so I'll just pause it again, and then when it's done, I'll come back. Okay, guys, I'm back. So the installation is complete. So now all you got to do is restart now. So just click restart now. And there it goes. And this is Ubuntu. Type in your password if you made one. Check login. the loop of the two sound when it logs in. And here's the Bluetooth. So you have the full system running right on your Windows 7 computer or any Windows computer. Right here, this is the full system. So there's nothing missing. All applications are here the desktop, there's even a hard drive for your my computer even a file system so um, thanks for watching guys remember to rate, comment, subscribe and I'll see you guys later bye